This is Denver 7 On Demand. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. This morning, quite a few of your friends and neighbors are waking up without power. Excel Energy has been working to restore service to 30,000 customers in the metro after that major windstorm. Four schools are closed right now, Sunset Ridge Elementary in Westminster, Escuela Bilingue Pioneer Elementary in Lafayette, plus Big Picture College and Career Academy and Global Campus in the Mapleton School District. More teacher walkouts are expected next week. Jeffco Public Schools is already canceling classes for next Thursday, a week from tomorrow. Teachers will be at the Capitol to ask for more school funding. And a day later, teachers from Denver Public Schools will be walking out as well. They plan on being in the classroom in the morning, but will walk out in the afternoon for a 1.30 rally. Tonight, the Avs are taking on the Nashville Predators, hoping to tie up the first round playoff series. The Preds won games one and two. The Avs made it back, winning up game three. So the team really needs a win tonight before the series heads back to Nashville. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here's Lisa Hidalgo with a check of your forecast. Has the wind stopped for us? It's better. It hasn't stopped, but it's a lot better. Here, here's a live look from Loveland this morning where we've got a mostly sunny sky. You'll still find some areas with a little blowing snow there in the northern Front Range Mountains, but nothing like what we saw yesterday. Yesterday was awful. Today we're starting off in the mid to upper 30s. It's chilly, but it's calmer. And then this afternoon, 58 degrees. So it's about five degrees cooler than normal. We're typically in the low 60s this time of year, but it's better than what we had to deal with yesterday with the damaging winds. Now we'll be in the mid to upper 50s today. Tomorrow a little warmer. Unfortunately, those winds are going to kick up a bit more, especially across southern Colorado ahead of our next storm. That one, it's going to bring rain and snow to Denver. Friday into early Saturday. We could pick up around one to two inches across the metro area by early Saturday with some cooler air both days. Sunday back in the 60s with some sunshine. So that's going to be the, the nicer of the two days. Molly. All right. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 on demand update. Thanks for joining us and make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.